why don't you believe in God? I don't know. I just don't believe in God. I don't believe in the supernatural and that. Certain man will think I'm a madman and that, but uh, I, don't, I don't believe in God. I feel like some people believe in God because they don't have the answer. So they're like, well, because I don't know, it must be some divine being in that. No, I'm happy with not knowing and not having the answers in that. Would I do a Ouija board? Nah. Nah, I ain't doing no Ouija boards in that. Even though I don't believe in God or the devil or fucking ghosts and that, I think there's certain things you shouldn't play about with, in it, And that's one of them, in it? So, uh, am I an Arsenal fan? I used to support Arsenal when I was younger, but... Um, yeah... I worked at the Tottenham Stadium. I'm not an Arsenal fan. Yeah. You see that? You see this comment here, yeah? A man said, God is yourself. You're the creator of your destiny. That is the realest fucking truth. So let me give you a little story, yeah? About people using God as an excuse. So when I first bought this house up in Northampton, yeah? I must have collected the keys on a Thursday or something like that. And then... Collected the keys, came up here and went straight back down to Edmonton. A couple of days later, I came back up, which was a Saturday. And I had an old work colleague friend who um, I told about the property. I told her when I was in the process of buying the property. So anyway, she said, when you get the property and you get the keys, let me know. I'll come up and see it. So anyway, she came up and saw this property. She lived up in like Enfield or something. So she drove down. And... Um, we're standing there right up in the kitchen and she used to work at, I mean, she, she probably still works at Homes of Haringey, hopefully not, but she was like a business analyst working at Homes of Haringey. They don't really pay that well. I mean, it's all right wage, but it's nothing to you know, get happy about. She was getting paid like 35 grand a year. Yeah. She went for a job interview or got, you know, headhunted or something like that. For a business analyst job, doing the exact same job role for 70 grand a year. This girl stood right up in my kitchen and said, I was going to go for the job, but I decided not to. God told me that it wasn't the right time or whatever. Do you know what the fuck that was? She saw the 70k a year salary and she told herself, I am not used to earning this sort of money. I don't think I'm good enough for it. So that's why she dropped out the job. I promise you that's what it was. It was no God. It was no higher power. Nothing. She didn't think that she was worth the job. I promise you. If that same company was paying her 45 grand a year. Just a little bit of an increase. Because why are you going to leave your 35 grand a year job? Kusti job at Homes of Haringey. It's a local authority in that. Close to home as well. Why are you going to leave that cushy job for a job that's paying three thousand pounds more? You know what I'm saying? So, if it was paying a little bit more, even let's say fifty, it's push it. Yeah? Pay an extra fifteen grand, so fifty grand in in, in, in total. I promise you, she would have took that job. But because it was seventy grand a year, it was like, whoa, this is big money, and I don't think I'm really worth this job. She got scared. The fucking coward, flood. Dumb. Someone offered me a job paying me double. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> I'm there. 